Mr. Chandrasekhar, what is the trend uh, emerging in Europe? The last time we spoke, you said that while Europe continues to be a long-term driver, it was too early to call if there was indeed a pickup in discretionary spending. Do you see that happening now? We continue to maintain that uh, Europe uh, is a long-term bet. You know, you cannot expect uh, very quick short-term wins. And uh, that is why, you know, we have a very focused approach of taking a longer-term view. And that's why, you know, we have been announcing one acquisition uh, after the other. You know, a few quarters ago, we announced this uh, C1, six group of uh, six companies in Germany. Uh, last month, we announced a, com uh, you know, financial services consulting firm called Equinox in France. So these are all part of our strategy to gradually expand our presence and create the local presence that we need to be successful uh, in uh, you know uh, continental Europe. So we still view Europe as a long-term bet, but we are making one move after the other so that you know we are able to tap the potential that's out there. And you know we are seeing the results already. You know, and uh, as if you look at the our Q3 performance. Europe, including UK, grew almost uh, over 7%. Right. And uh, while UK grew by about 5.4% sequentially, right. uh, the continental Europe actually grew well, well over uh, 9%, you know. And it's mainly because we have been able to create that local presence through these acquisitions and really have a joint go-to-market to win newer logos.